IRIS program for satellite communication in air traffic management. Over the last decade, the aviation sector has seen tremendous growth, making Europe the densest air traffic space in the world. As a result, we often experience delays and cancellations due to the saturated air traffic around main hubs such as Frankfurt, Paris and London. To address this issue, the European Commission launched the Single European Sky Air Traffic Management Research Program, also known as CESAR. It supports the implementation of the Single European Sky by looking at all aspects of air traffic management. It also intends to modernize current communication procedures and increase safety for air traffic participants. Today, all information still passes through the voice communication between the pilot and the controller. There's no direct communication link between computers on the aircraft and those on the ground. This procedure makes it difficult to accommodate increases in air traffic. In the future, voice communication between pilots and controllers will become a backup, while data links become standard practice. This will enable the aircraft and the ground to communicate more effectively, increasing the efficiency of common aviation procedures. As this data link will be critical to operations, a dual link will be implemented so that the aircraft will always have a fallback data link available. One link will be based on new terrestrial communication technology with antennas on ground while the other will be satellite based. To develop and validate this new satellite communication service for aviation and ground controllers, the European Space Agency, ESA, launched the IRIS program in 2007. It's a safety system that's fundamental for the future of air traffic management. The IRIS program is carried out in collaboration with CESAR under the umbrella of ESA's cooperation with the European Union. In practice, airborne crews will send digital data via their built-in cockpit terminals. This data will then be immediately relayed via satellites placed in geostationary orbit and will reach flight control facilities across Europe. Using this system will be transparent to the pilot and the controller, who will continue to use their existing communication terminals. The system will be designed to ensure low costs for equipping the aircraft and handling communications. The development of this end-to-end -end communication system implies two parallel technical developments. One, a new global standard for satellite communication, which will have to be adopted at worldwide level and will guarantee that any aircraft equipped with a standardized radio will be able to communicate anywhere via compatible satellite systems. Two, a European satellite infrastructure, which will enable the provision of this service in Europe. The IRIS program is a new type of initiative for ESA. One where the space component is a tool in a much bigger system that adapts to what's being defined by external partners and end users not always familiar with satellite technology. The total development phase for IRIS will run until 2015, followed by the deployment of a fully operational system in 2020. This investment in the future will contribute to make air travel in Europe more efficient, cost-effective and safer.